McDonald's coffee. Let's give it a try. In this episode, I will be climbing the tallest peak in Arizona. It is Mount Humphreys. Stands at about 12,000 feet elevation. Let's get after it. There she is. There's the beast. It's chilly up here. First things first, we gotta make some lunch. Peanut butter and jelly. We are off onto the trail. It is currently 8.47 a.m. So I'm curious to see how long this will take me. I'll check the phone when I get back down here. But that is the goal, the top of that. That is the goal, we'll see if we can do it. So my main concern about this hike is the elevation. I've done plenty of hikes that have gained over 3,000 feet and I've done plenty of 10 mile hikes but I don't hike at this elevation very often. Trail that starts at 9,000 feet. The peak is over 12,000 feet, so it is up there. And so that will be my main concern for this journey is how I fare at high elevation. So, wish me luck. Now that's a Widowmaker if I've ever seen one. About 20 minutes in now. Feeling good. Feeling good. First patch of snow on the trail. So we are getting up there. Right now my body I think is finally realizing that I'm hiking. And so it's kicked in, starting to regulate my breath. Morning. Hey, good morning. And I was a trail runner at like 10,000 feet. The guy's a beast. This part is flat, so I can do a walk by shot. <laughs> I'm probably gonna have the worst hat here right now, too. But oh well. I'm hiking 3,000 feet, so forget about it. <laughs> I don't know why I chose a snow crossing to do a walk by, come back shot. <laughs> but I did. We're about an hour in now. Feeling pretty good. <sighs> no, still feeling pretty good. The first signs of altitude sickness is a slight headache and upset stomach. Don't have any of those, so that's a good sign. Yeah, we'll just keep on pushing up. We're getting into a lot of snow now. Tons of snow crossing. Feels like I'm back in Washington. A little taste of home. <laughs> Making me a little homesick. But this is my last weekend in Arizona, so. What better way to spend it than to climb the tallest peak in Arizona and see some snow. <laughs> the trail is pretty much just snow now at this point. 
pretty much just hiking through snow this whole way now. <laughs> One thing I've learned though from doing these strenuous hikes and these challenging hikes, it's all mental. It's all mental. 70% mental, if not more. Your body is way more capable than your mind is telling it. So once you can master the mental, sky's the limit. It's crazy what the body's capable of. And it's really, really cool to discover how far you can push your body. In a safe way though. You gotta be safe, you gotta be smart about it. But it's all mental. Would not wanna slip that way. Slide all the way back down to the bottom. <laughs> we are an hour and a half in now. And I think we're starting to get close to the tree line. The trees are starting to thin out. I can start seeing the peak here and the snow is melting a little bit. Down in the trees, it doesn't melt because the sun can't hit it. But up here, it's exposed to the sun, so it melts away. So we're back to dirt. About an hour and a half in, we're starting to get some clearance. Start seeing the peak a little bit. I can taste it. Just gotta keep on going. Keep your mind on the prize. <laughs> oh, hour and 45 in. <sighs> One second. There's people. Okay. About two hours in now. Passed a sign a little ways back that said we we're at 11,400 feet. And I probably hiked about 300 feet since then. So we've gone about 2,500 feet so far. Probably about 600 feet left. Already incredible views. We're gonna do this, we're gonna conquer this. Still feeling good, altitude hasn't gotten to me very much. So that's a good sign. Still going strong. Incredible views. Let's knock this thing out. <laughs> well, this last stretch is really challenging you. After you just climb 2,500 feet, this trail decides to make you boulder climb. <laughs> it's like a scramble at the end. It's like salt in the wound. <laughs> Just got done climbing 2,500 feet. Oh, here's some boulders to climb over. my fair share of scrambling up boulders. This is the first time I've done it at 12,000 feet, so but this is awesome. Give me all the pain if it gives me these views. The Grand Canyon is over there somewhere, which is crazy to think about. So, so close. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's knock this out. We're so close. Oh jeepers, I spoke too soon. We still have to go up this and then up that. Oh, this must be the saddle they were talking about. The false summit. I fell for it. I'm better than that. Daggum. Gotta go up this still. We just hit another fall summit. Now we have to go to the top of this. This mountain is a little jokester. This mountain's a little prankster. All these fall summits. But still feeling good. I have no doubt in my mind. 
that I'm gonna summit this mountain. And that is the best feeling ever. So let's crank out this last little summit here. And hopefully it's the last one. There's no way. There's no way. Yet another false summit. This mountain, this mountain's a prankster. <laughs> I'm not even gonna think about the summit anymore. I'm just gonna believe it when I see it. This mountain's a dang jokester. Incredible views though. At least I got incredible views while I drown in agony. <laughs> While I wallow in my sorrows, at least I can look at some beautiful views. It's just gonna make it all the more worth it. Let's keep going, mental. Just gotta push through. You just gotta ignore everything your mind's telling you. As long as it's not an emergency, just ignore it. Cause your body's more capable than what your mind tells you. Just push through that pain in your body. You gotta keep up. Let's go. Let's do this. There it is. Gotta get to that. I think that's the end. I'm not getting my hopes up. Like I said, I'll believe it when I see it. We're just gonna keep on trucking. Made it. Just like that, we're heading back down. Now we have to undo all the work we did coming up here. It took me about three hours to get to the summit, and I spent about an hour up there, and then we'll see how long it takes me to get down. It's only been like 20 minutes, and we're already down this far. A lot quicker on the way down. Officially back in the tree line, so we're making progress. But that means we're also 
back into these snow crossings. Usually I never know like what's harder, going up or going down. But this trail is definitely going down is harder because of the snow crossings. It's like going down a slip and slide. <laughs> Sucks. I hate this. I hate this so much. Okay. Woo. So we left the car a little over, or left the car becoming delusional. Left the summit a little over an hour ago, so we are getting it done and more snow crossings. I should just go whew, to the parking lot. <laughs> oh Lord. I know on there it probably looks like nothing, but this is literally just a hill of snow. <laughs> Document my struggles coming down this. Should've brought a sled with me, man. Could have flew down this mountain. Ugh. Oh, jeez. How are we gonna do this? Oh, God. Oh. This is horrible. <laughs> yeah. Instagram, reality. <laughs> I think we are getting close though. We left the summit about an hour and 40 minutes ago. I think we're making decent time. What's that saying? We're just chipping away at it. Slowly but surely, chipping away. What is that, a crow? Things annoying as flip. Sounds like an alarm clock. Okay, we are nearing two hours since we left the summit. Can't beat those fresh forest smells.
beautiful. We made it. We made it back to the bottom. Oh, I'm so happy. It's the best feeling, doing a hard hike and then getting back to the bottom, conquering it officially. Yes, we are back. Woo, woo woo. You can see that very well, but all the way up there. Holy smokes, that's a long ways up there. But we did it. Now I can officially say that I have hiked slash climbed the tallest peak in the state of Arizona. That is awesome. Just saying that is so awesome. Oh, my baby girl. Never thought I'd be so excited to see you. First things first, get these off of my feet right now. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Humphreys is conquered. How rude of me. Let me uh let me chew this. Yes, Humphreys is conquered. It is in the books. The tallest peak in Arizona has been summited by me. Heck yes. <laughs> it was a little over 3,400 foot gain across the whole hike and a total of 9.6 miles. Final elevation was 12,633 feet which is unbelievable that I'm even saying that. And I got back to the car about like 3.20 ish and I started about 8.47 AM. So about five and a half hours, almost six. Um, I did spend an hour at the summit. So you could definitely do it quicker than that, but it's a solid little, solid little time span, about five and a half, six hours, beautiful views, good workout, an accomplishment. And now I can say that I've summited Humphrey's peak, man, it's just a good day. It's a great, great day. Um, now I need to get some food. And there's a place in downtown Flagstaff that does these acai bowls. Oh, mm, they are so, so good. And I would love to have an acai bowl right now. So I think I'm gonna head down to town, go to the spot, get some acai. I'll show you guys that because I have to show you. It's so flipping good. And then I'm gonna scarf that down and then we'll conclude the video. But let's go get some acai bowls. Alrighty, the belly is full, feeling good, fantastic day. But now it's getting late and I still have to find a camping spot for tonight. So I'm gonna end the video here. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Do not stop exploring and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.